Good evening, everybody. It's 6 o'clock p.m. on January 1st, 2017. Hope everybody had a happy new year. This is Witcher 3 um, playthrough of the prologue video number 5. It's 2017, and I'm still playing The Witcher 3. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Oh, man. We got a long way to go in this game. All right. Let me cut the game volume down just a tad bit. There we go. Looks like I'm missing the ingredients to make alcoholist. I need to, I need really need to find a um a cherry cordial so I can actually craft a uh, alcoholist or alcohest 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 I'm not quite sure how you pr pronounce that but I don't want to be caught <laughs> without the ability to create alcohol for um potions that may be required to progress through the game All right, so we are on the Beast of White Orchard quest. Now, this is the mainline quest for this area. Um, I think I've come right now. All this I have it. I think I do have a secondary quest to go get the uh, Witcher gear. However, it's well beyond my current level. I think it's like level six. And I'm only um, level two, I think, in this game right now. Oh, get out of my way, get out of my way. Take it easy.
Right now, we're going to go talk to the uh, hunter Mislov to see where, where he found the bodies. Take it easy. And here we are. Let's talk to our buddy Mislov and see what he has to say. Hold L2 to use your Witcher senses. When you find tracks or other clues, walk close, then press X to examine them. Okay. When you find tracks or other clues, walk close, then press X to examine them. Trails fresh. His love just left home. There he is. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. More dangerous than wolves? That's kind of... That's a hard... That's a hard sell. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? I see that monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure. I'll help a brother out. Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt. Guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they just won't die, because they're clever. More so than foxes, and they hate men something fierce. Too late. Attacked another one.
Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamp now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? What was he before talking about? What? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. Well, witchers are kind of freaks as well. I'm a freak too. I, but of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Well, that explains a lot. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. Well... I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. Where's he taking me? So it seems like we're going... Yeah, we are... Well off the beaten path. Twas here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch. Guts, blades, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Good night to you. Good night. All right, let's see what we have here at this kill site. North Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. A camp. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Got a new marker, a broken bridge. Okay. Looks like we have some tracks here on the road. are older and deeper heavily armored elf guardians probably
I guess jump across the bridge. Yeah. Do they end here? Oh no. When jumping over large gaps, hold circle during your leap to grab on to any outcrops on the other side. Okay. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. So we got a honeycomb here. Oh, the griffin's already been killed. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Preparing for combat. Never underestimate your opponent. This rule is at the core of the Witcher's Code, and for good reason. Proper preparation has saved many a Witcher's life. It is likewise worth your while to brew potions, concoct oils, or visit craftsmen before engaging in combat. Blacksmiths forge weapons while armors craft armor. If you expect to battle a strong opponent, you might want to complete some side quests before attacking. This will allow you to gain experience and develop your character, giving you a better chance of winning the fight. We have a Velen Longsword and His Imperial Majesty, Emir Var, Im Emir Var Imres. His Imperial Majesty, Emir Var Imres, rules to expand. He has trained his strategic brilliance on a singular vision to conquer the world. Though he rightly calls this not conquest, but salvation, yes. The Emperor of Nilfgaard sets the world alight with the torch of civilization. Trampling the still warm corpses of his father's usurpers. The Emperor seized the throne and began to assimilate the northern realms. One after the other. Terror engulfed the north. Only the Battle of Brenna slowed the Imperial Army's march toward victory. A temporary peace then took hold, though none believed this mirage would last. Emir's aim to make the entire north a vassal of Nilfgaard remained unchanged. Emir used peace as a cover to intensify his political efforts. Now all can see their results. Chaos and disorder devour the Nordling states. 
ridden with internal bickering and backstabbing, they near collapse. Only a strong ruler can grapple this dysfunction, in, dysfunction into function. Only a wise ruler can give vision to their blindness. Only Emir Vir Emirates can save the north. So our armies have again crossed the Yaraga for the third and final time. The captured knew where Yennefer had gone. Shrewdly, he was unwilling to share this information for free, a man with substantial experience. He knew full well that Geralt would do anything to find the sorceress. As luck would have it, there was a griffin about, a beast the commander's soldiers had been able to, unable to hunt down. The commander could demand but one thing, the monster's head in exchange for his help. The witcher investigated and learned that the griffin he had encountered along the high road outside of White Orchard had good reason to prey on the local populace. The soldiers the Nilfgaardian commander had set out to scout had in fact killed the griffin's brooding mate. Griffins are known to mate for life, and Geralt thus felt a pang of pity for the beast. But ever the professional, he could not let his feelings interfere with his work. We have dogs. And what are they vulnerable against? Beast oil? Same with wolves. Dogs. They say a dog's man a dog is man's best friend, but in these foul times, one best be wary even of his friends. Alfred Pankratz, beggar from Novigrad. Some claim dogs are reflections of their masters. A well treated pet repays his owner with loyalty and trust. Whereas an ill treated one repays his treatment in kind as well. Meeting yells with barks and kicks with bites. Since there is an abundance of bad men, so too is there an abundance of bad dogs. Most dangerous of all are the vagrant mutts who have lost all respect for men and developed a taste for blood and carrion. We have a new book entry. His Imperial Majesty Emir von Emerus. And we've already read that. His Imperial... Ether. Greater Green Mutagen. And here we go. We leveled, so I'm going to grab a... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I may just... I may just uh, not use this, because if I gain an ability, I'm not going to be able to equip it right now until level 4 anyways. Mm, magic. A place of power.
we're going to plop a marker there and check out what that undiscovered location is as well. Where's this guy? There he goes. Poor son. Don't let him catch his breath. Ha! So what do we have here at this bandit camp? Vile air valus. I believe that's an alcohol. All of this is alcohol. Tamarian rye. Cow's milk. Well, cow's milk's not alcohol. Dorian sword and a dancing star. I think a dancing star is a bomb. Let's see if I can make some of this. Um, yeah, let's see if I can make Dancing Star. So I need some saltpeter and some sulfur. I can make a steel ingot, but I'm not sure what it's what it's used for or what requires the um, the material. I can also make some silk. Ah well.
All right, we're going to meet up with the herbalist now, Tamira. You know what? I'm going to take advantage of these corpses these wolves have been leaving behind. Because I... I notice you're often run, running out of food in this game. And, um... There we go. Sometimes you can get raw rabbit meat off these corpses. Oh, he's harassing Roach. Let's do this, man. Don't let him catch his breath. One swing, that's how a Witcher does it. All right, let's try this again. Come on, Roach. No mercy. 
No mercy for dogs or wolves now. Show me what you got. Is this even... Uh, go, go. What is this? A campment? I don't... Is this even on the map? No, it's not even on the freaking map. Not so fast, Roach. Okay. Oh. I'm not gonna mess with the uh, Nilf Guardians because they will just completely wreck me. Slower. Look at all the herbs here, man. Maybe I can find some Arenaria. I know that I've been needing um, some Arenaria to create Cat's Eye, I think is the potion that I... Molly arrow. Dwarven spirit and um, Wolfsbane.
All right, I think that's enough. Let's talk to Tamira before she finds out that I completely looted her entire garden. Yes. Bad time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets. The red bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much. But I know a bit, for instance, that beggar takes poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Her? Lena. Yes, attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night, through the woods, in wartime. Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. <laughs> Let's see if I can help her. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Got a potion for Lena. Yeah, let's... Fair sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. Hmm. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking. A few years ago we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something something. Ah, good to know the black ones are looking out for our welfare. If I recall, I think Captain Peter actually does sort of care. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise, you'd not use bait. Just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Is that a proposition? Yes. Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bear his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Nenake refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word, gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Hmm. Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? 
lived around here. Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed. But you saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. It is so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Sweet, I was actually needing some saltpeter. Yes. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. I guess now's a good time to really try to catch up on my um on my alchemy. Let's see what I can make now. Let's see if she has a cherry cordial. I'm pretty sure she probably does. And some sulfur, cherry cordial sulfur. Calcium. Cursed oil. Cursed ones. Sulfur and calcium. There's sulfur. And some calcium eclum right there.
I don't know if she has cherry cordial or not. Let's see. It's in a silver bottle. She has no guardian lemon. Farewell. Maybe I can dismantle an alkahest to get um, the cherry cordial. Be right back. Okay. All right. Let's check our quest log really quickly. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think I did pick up a book from completing a couple of these quests. Here it is. Of sweat and blood. A veil hangs between the world men see and the one they cannot. This veil blocks the dead from the view of the living and the living from the view of the dead. Some mages can break through this veil and communicate with the dead or else summon them to the world of the sun for short periods of time. This is the art known as necromancy. The dead can also break through the veil and enter the world of the living on their own. Yet, unlike the necromancers, in doing so, they are not driven by reason and will but by a thoughtless, irrational need. This need arises from powerful emotion, emotions such as regret, longing, or wrath. 
Very often these emotions gain their power by being invested in a material object by the dead individual while he or she still knew life. The objects most frequently so endowed wedding rings, favorite toys, or the instrument used for the crime which sent the returned individual to the, to the other world in the first place. And we got a beast area entry. So we got an entry for Night Wraiths and Plague Maidens. Night Wraiths exude this immense sadness, this helpless wrath. I fear them same as anyone, but most of all I feel sorry for them. Alien Aldspar, Elven Chobarids. Compared to other creatures of the night, Catacons, Necorots, and Werewolves, for example, Night Wraiths and their rare cousins, Dusk Wraiths, might not might not seem all that dangerous. After all, one might ask, how much harm could a pale, withered woman in a tattered dress do? The answer is quite a bit. Instead of finding this out the hard way, avoid crossing fields and meadows at night at all costs. Like noon rays, night rays are only found in rural areas. Travelers fall victim to them most often, but if legends are to be believed, they also sneak into huts at times and murder peasants in their sleep. When they attack, night rays remain immaterial for most of the time, meaning physical blows pass right through them. They only take on more tangible form for the brief moments in which they strike. When weakened, they will create several projections of themselves, which cannot attack directly but act as transmitters of sorts, through which the Night Wraith can sap her victim's vital energy. Night Wraiths can turn it immaterial and are at such times very difficult to wound. In order to force one to take on corporal form, trap it with the Earden sign or hit it with the blast of a moon dust bomb. Do not believe the old wives tales and think yourself completely safe from night race during the day. They appear under the light of the sun as well, but are much weaker than after dusk. And then we have plague maidens. Patients seem to have hallucinations of a woman covered in scabs and boils with rats scurrying around all her, about all around her. These ravings subsided after an administration of henbane and poppy extract. Joachim von Graz's notes, Vilmarius Hospital, Novigrad. When plague ravages a region, a spirit will sometimes walk its lands, a ghost resembling an ill woman whose flesh rots off her bones and in whose wake crawls a cavalcade of rats. No one knows whether this spirit brings the pox with her or is merely drawn to it like a moth to a light. Yet it is certain that she delights in dealing pain and suffering. In hearing the howling and moaning of men, many have called into question the very existence of plague maidens or pesta, as they are sometimes called. Only two sightings of such a creature have ever been recorded, both during times of raging epidemic. As the name plague maiden suggests, these wraiths take the appearance of females, though exactly why that is remains a mystery. Some speculate they, like other such specters, arise from the powerful emotional charge associated with certain circumstances of death, such as, de such as death preceded by a long and particularly painful illness. Not much is known about how to fight a plague maiden, though one can assume they possess many traits in common with other phantoms and rays. They undoubtedly pose a great danger, though a witcher's immunity sh should at least prevent him from catching the contagious illness illnesses they carry. Night Wraith decoction. Sweet.
Let's go. Hunting trousers, really? <laughs> Gas clouds of swampy areas are poisonous, watch out. Here you can see all buffs currently affecting your character. Gas clouds are highly flammable, ignite them and they will explode in a fiery burst. Hmm. What in the world happened? Go, go. Whoa. Thanks, buddy. He's still trying to attack me? For what? Lock. Oh, I could. Should 
talk to Vesemir. To whom it may concern, by order of the Legion Commander, the men bearing this missive are to be escorted north to the border post near Oxenford, where they will find a Redanian division waiting for them. As noble-born Temerians, they are under special protection, and not a hair on their heads is to be harmed. Everything they carry is their own private property and is to remain in their possession. Any failure to heed this order will be punished in an accelerated military tribunal. Randall Vit Wittgenberg. Temerian valuables, yeah. Let's do that. Any tidings from Vizema? So we have a treasure hunt here. Temerian Valuables, White Orchard, suggested level four. Whenever I would ask the Witcher for his opinion concerning my latest sonnet, elegy, or even couplet, he'd always claim he hadn't the time. Yet time he had a plenty when it came to reading letters or lying about Monster's Nest. Perhaps that was because they, unlike my writings, often proved the path to significant riches. To whom it may concern, by order of the Legion Commander, the men bearing this missive are to be escorted north to the border post near Oxenford, where they will find a Redanian division awaiting them. As no worn Temerians, they are under special protection and not a hair on their heads is to be harmed. Everything they carry is their own private property and is to remain in their possession. Any failure to heed this order will be punished in an accelerated military tribunal. Randall Wittgenberg. See, these gauntlets are better. They may be better than what I have. Four armor, two percent, two percent, two percent. They are better. And these are better as well.
cavalry boots. Enhanced saddle. I can really use that. Marion Rye, Special Forces Insignia, Scribbled Document, and a Longsword. Scribbled Document. Hemi, no wonder we're losing this war with cowardly cunts for soldiers. All it took were a few arrows and a wallop of the mace for seasoning. And that was that. Battle was over and the whole convoy was ours for the picking. Maybe they were having such a hard time of it because of all the vodka they were carrying. Our brave warriors must have taken a sip from time to time with obvious results. When you're seeing double, it's damned hard to hit your target. Take everything we gathered to the cubby, then fence it quick as you can, except that showy parade shite. You'll have to bury or burn that. I reckon someone might recognize the insignia, and then there would be trouble. Caius. Okay, that, that saddle is clearly better. What quest are we on? We're level four now. I'm going to go ahead and try this scavenger hunt in Viper School gear. Let me meditate. And take a two hour power nap. because we're close to the um, to the secondary quest location.
That's right, I can equip a, um... No. I don't have any Arenaria, and I really need to get some to, to make some Spectre Oil. Hmm. Strange. There's just hand marks. Hmm. Strange. Hey, Happy New Year, Kiju. Hope all is well with you. How's the first day of 2017 going? can't see crap in here, man. Cavalry gauntlets. Letter from Witcher Colgrim of the Viper School and the Serpentine Silver Sword. Letter from Witcher Colgrim of the Viper School to Ivar the Evil Eye, Master Witcher of the Viper School. I have now found all the legendary diagrams once belonging to our order. Certain complications have arisen. However, on the way back to our keep, I stopped to rest the night in a, in a village in the Temerian borderlands. The blasted peasants decided to make me into their scapegoat and accused me of kidnapping some beekeeper's brat. They took me into the local lordling's castle for interrogation, during which they found and confiscated one of the diagrams, but do not fear, I will get it back. They did not find the others. I have invoked Tamerian common law and demanded a trial by ordeal instead of submitting to the whims of his baronet. My request was granted, and tomorrow I am to cleanse the baronet's family crypt of raids. I expect this will prove little trouble. Perhaps I will already have returned to our keep by the time you receive this letter. 
Like the furnaces will have some forging to do. Let me check on these uh Calvary gauntlets. I think they're probably better than what I have. I'm glad you're feeling better, man. A Gildorf sword. Is that all that was in here? I guess it was. I don't know why I'm trying to light all torches in here. I don't even know if it's worth. And we got one more right here. So I guess that was yeah. So let's see. I got a uh, recipe to create a new sword. Let me see how close I am to actually being able to make it.
All right, we have the. Um, Sedarian Gambison. And the silver ingot. I think I can make a silver ingot. No, I can't. I'm going to ironing it. Silver. Or silver ore. Okay. All right, all right, all right. It's like we're almost, we're getting close to being done with this area here. I think there's a few undiscovered locations to explore. Yeah. I'll probably hit those up. I'll hit I'll um hit all the undiscovered locations up on the next stream. So that's what I'll do. Meanwhile, let me uh quick travel to Wo Song Bridge. I couldn't remember the name of the town. There we go. Straight to the blacksmith to see what he can do for me. It's Durban now. Kings do the fighting. Oh shit. <laughs> Climbing a sign. Climbing a sign. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me what you got. That's right. This guy, he, he only can, um, he's an armor smith, not a weapon smith. I wonder if I can dismantle that pure silver, possibly. Anyways, all right. So long. <sighs> Hour and 36 minutes in, we're going to call the stream here. Um, this will be the conclusion of 
The Witcher 3 playthrough. Of the prologue, video number five. And from the looks of it, it looks like video number six will be the video that w where we'll actually be leaving or uh, progressing from White Orchard. All I have to do is just wrap up all these undiscovered locations. And then I'll finish off with the, um, the Beast of White Orchard quest. So I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great 2017.